So it all starts around 1995. Groovy Lou, who was in my group, The Nomads, yeah. he uh, gave me a tape with the loop, which was the original session, man. And in his mind, he thought it was gonna be like a, a interview for, for a Nomads uh, album. Um, I remember being in, waiting in the car for Tony Touch, and I remember saying, um, coming up with the session chorus, hey, yo, you ready for the session? Yo, no question. And when he came in the car, I told him the, the, the chorus, and he was like, oh, that's dope. We, we go to Q's house, and I had this chorus, and it was that night that I thought about, and he had played that beat, and I was like, this is the one, let's do it to this one. So we looped it off the cassette. Off the cassette. And me, you, Swell and Free, just, we wrote right on the spot. We knew the focus was the chorus. Yes. And that bass line. We knew, we knew that was where the, a lot of the focus were. So we were doing like metaphors. And the end of the song, when we're like, bleep, bleep, that whole thing was uh, us watching Cartoon Network. Bleep, bleep comes from like Josie and the Pussy. Yeah, Jones exactly. Yeah, like, it was. And, and we did Scooby. Scooby, 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 Scooby. Scooby. So that was like a whole Hanna Barbera outro. Yeah, we went into like bugging out and especially implementing that whole cartoon like. Our vibe. Yeah, because that's that's that that's what really uh, um, helped that song along. I think a lot of pre people appreciated that. Yeah. And Tony Touch took it to Stretch and Barbito. Yes. And, and uh, uh, Barbito. Obviously, Stretch and Bob, they played it. Mm -hmm. And for a few weeks, people were calling up uh, to KCR and requesting the song. So then he ended up giving us the Butter Award, Rap Pages Magazine. Mm -hmm. And then he- It was like a demo, the best, yeah, you know? Best demo of the year. And uh, he already knew me from the Nomads and he right. called me and he was like, what are y'all gonna do with that, that session uh, track? Oh, man. He was like, Hold on to your money and let me put it out on Fondo. Mm -hmm. I think we were, we were the second release right after the Cenobites or something like that. Okay. And then another time with this song, uh, it was given to... So, so a girl that we knew who gave it to Angie Martinez. Right. Angie Martinez, they had a thing called Battle of the Beats. Uh-huh. And um, she was up there. Right. Time. So the way Battle of the Beats was, it was based on people calling. So like if, you know... To vote. Well, to vote. You got to call. Hey, I want to hear... I, I, I vote for the arsonist, the session. Yeah. So the first song we went up against, uh, first group was the Rangers. They were on Def Jam. They right. were a Rockefeller um, group. And, uh, they had a budget. <laughs> they, had, they had a budget. And we, would, we were right? like it was real with us. And um, and then after that, uh, the Roots. We went up against the Roots. We, we were we were in the video. Barbito, right? Barbito hooked it up. That we would dance, and we weren't even we really weren't even dancers like that. Yeah, but they said, "Yo, we got some break dances." <laughs> we was those guys. There. You guys. Got a moment, check out Clones, the Roots video. It's hilarious. None of us do anything amazing. No, but we went up against that song. Later that Battle later that week. Yeah, for Battle of the Beats, and we ended up beating them. Right, and we printed papers everywhere because the Puerto Rican Day Parade was happening. Yes. It was us, basically. We, we were our own street team. We, and yeah. all it took was Jay-Z with Mary J. Blige to beat us. <laughs> right, they put, they put Jay-Z, they put Mary J. Blige on one song. The hustle. Yes, against Little Fondalum Arsonist with the session. That was the end. Recorded off a cassette. <laughs> and they were like, it's not going to happen. I don't know if there was some trickery there. Some conspiracy theory. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's not much conspiracy when it's Def Jam yeah. and a little indie label. But that exactly. was a that, that was a great um, experience for that. And we went on tour. That's right. So. Off, of, off of that single. Hey, yo, you ready for the session? Yeah, yo, no question. Hey, yo, you ready for the session? Hey, yo, no question. Hey, yo, you ready for the session? Yo, no question. So, yo, get on the microphone with no second guess. I get up to a level of higher. I'm setting fire.